mother. This has to be one of the hardest reviews I've done so far this year, including last year, the minimal I did. This is the most controversial movie of the year, I think. This movie has been so split and so controversial that it is so difficult to review this movie because I'm kind of in the middle of two sides, and I'll explain why. Mother follows the story of... Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem's character, and that is all I will tell you because that is basically all you really can know without spoiling much, which tell you something already. But for starters, people that have seen the trailer do not expect that movie. That is the biggest thing from that I that I was surprised about in this movie was it's not a horror. It's not. I wouldn't call it a, even a thriller. I suppose it's a thriller, but it's not a horror. It is not a scary movie, but it seems like it's going to be. It really does seem like it's going to be a terrifying jump scare movie. It's not at all. This is a thriller, kind of a mystery at the same time movie. Now, as I said, this is going to be a really hard re review to do because there's so many elements of this movie that worked and didn't work, and some I can talk about and some I can't talk about without revealing the plot. And a big part of this movie is the plot, and that is where you die, you sink or float uh, when it comes to this movie. If you gonna, if you like the plot and you liked what they did with it, you're really gonna like this movie. If you didn't, you don't. I'll start with the things I liked about this movie. I think you can't, no matter what you thought of the movie, you can't complain. The acting was phenomenal. The cinematography was phenomenal. It was directed quite well. The score was pretty intensely, uh, in, intense, intenseful, intense intensity. I don't know what the fucking word is that. It was it was intense. It was very intense, and uh, you know they were. It was a really well done movie. I I can't fault the movie for for what they gave us. It was a really well done, well filmed movie. On the other side, this has a very controversial plot, and it kind of has a plot that you don't really know what's going on for the majority of the movie, and that is what happens in a lot of movies. There are a lot of movies of a similar style, um, by the even the same director, Black Swan, being one of his main movies he did. And, you know, it kind of, it, it's one of the movies where you don't really know what's going on and it goes and leads you on and leads you on and leads you on. And that's what happens in the movie and kind of get always, with similar movies like that, it gets to a point and you flick on and you either understand the movie, you get it, and you enjoy it because of it, or you go, okay. Yeah. And this is a movie that makes you think for yourself. It makes you really interpret what you think the movie's about and what the movie, um, you know, displays and conveys. And it, it has been really controversial because myself, my first thoughts after this movie was not very good. Honestly, I came to the movie kind of to the point that it wasn't the movie I was expecting. I don't think it got me to a point where I really turned around and went, okay, that makes sense. That's why I really enjoyed the movie. I kind of think it was kind of a mismatch patch of scenes through this entire movie. It was very abstract, very left of field, and for, for my liking, uh, you know, too left of field at times. And initially, I was really, really annoyed with this movie. I came out and I was like, that was fucking weird. Um, which is the biggest word for this movie, is weird. If you guys want a, you know, a normal movie, do not watch this. This is a very, very abstract, very, you know, weird movie. And initially, I was kind of disappointed. I thought they were expecting more. But now I've thought about it. This has been two days since I've seen this movie. I've kind of gone, oh, okay. So that kind of... If I interpret it that way, this is interesting. And it's got people talking, and I'll give it that. This is a movie that gets people talking, and it's got me talking and thinking about it. My family members that I saw the movie, I saw it with my sister, uncle, and dad, and they've all come with different interpretations of the movie, and we've all kind of connected the dots, and gone, oh, yeah, that would make sense. And, you know, honestly, I think there's kind of a, a general, uh, you know, a general thought of what the movie is for the majority of people that, re that have filmed it. Uh, seen it, sorry. The majority of people that have watched this movie have kind of, you know, have thought of the same thing and, you know, connect the dots. But it, there's no clarification if it is that. And that this movie is definitely very interesting. Um, it definitely had some theatrical conventions with a predominantly one setting, um, you know, predominantly following one character and a lot, not a lot of dialogue at times. Pacing, pacing becomes an issue at times because it can go from really intense moment and then kind of flick back to nothingness. I feel like the movie wasn't really connected at times as well and you know that's partially how the movie is. I'm giving this movie a C plus which is a really hard rating. I really had to think about it. I've had reviewers that have given it A minus as A's and you know excellence and then other movie reviewers that have hated it. 
And I'm somehow in the middle. I've kind of thought it's really, really well made and it got people talking. And if I thought in the way I've interpreted it, it kind of makes sense so I can get that. But at the same time, the movie itself, you know, during watch, watching it, I kind of was a bit confused and weeded out majority of the movie, which is why it's not higher. I think if they could make it a bigger connection at the end and maybe then try to give you some sort of leeway point and then you can kind of interpret it, which they did a little bit, but maybe they give you such a, you know, a guaranteed turn of point. But a lot of it didn't make sense, which is why I bumped it down. I originally had it as a C, then a C minus, and I flipped it back up to a C plus. I couldn't find a way from the movie and I can't deny that it was very well made and well filmed. So I, I can't take it a really lower rating than that, but this is definitely one of the most con controversial movies uh, you, th there is at the moment. I've kind of just split it down the middle, which is weird because I think a lot of people either hate it or like it or, or love it. I'm kind of just, yeah, I can understand it. This movie is one of the weirdest movies of the of the year, guys. If you guys have seen it, please let me know what you think. Let me know below what you guys thought of the movie because I maybe you have a p complete different thought of what I have about the movie. Maybe you really liked it. And you went, you yeah, know, it all made sense. It came together. I liked it. Or you said that was dumb. And, you know, it, it had a, you know, just, just dumb shit going on, which I had kind of both sides of that. So, that is my review, guys. Again, one of the most controversial movies of the year. But you guys, if you like this movie review, you guys can click that subscribe button to get more movie reviews as well as some extra stuff. Uh, movie Blu-ray updates, collection videos, whatever I've got going on that week. Press that subscribe button to keep up to date. And, of course, have a good one.